Hi, we're here to talk about our <laughs> Catapult Project 2010. Our original Catapult was actually a lot like our final one because um, our base was very sturdy and the structure was um, well designed. Well, we started out just coming up with a simple base just so it would be able to stand up on its own. And um, when we built the arm, we didn't realize that the arm needed to be so so much sturdy. We just had it be like one little piece. But then we realized that we needed to have it be a lot more sturdy for it to hold the like pull the force back in order for the <coughs> in order for the catapult to <laughs> fling the projectile. And um and so we made it a lot more sturdy. And <coughs> <laughs> Um, we also thought that you could use um, kilograms um, to like be heavier on one side, but then um, we realized that you can't, so we had to make that um, a lot um, have a lot more mass. So, yes. so it would, like even out, and we used rubber bands to like pull it back, and so then when we like pulled the little trigger, that the the momentum and force would be a lot stronger. And we had to use um, a projectile that would, like, have enough mass for it to actually make a dent on the force plate. Because if you don't have enough mass, it's not, it's not going to, like, pick up your reading. And so we had to, like, figure out how heavy our mass or our projectile could be in order for our catapult to actually fling that heavy of a projectile. And, <laughs> and so we, um, we had to experiment around with that because it wouldn't always work if we had too heavy of a projectile. We stuck with our final design because... Because it was able to um, make a, like a little... Like it It was... How do I say that? It was able to make a, at least um, like a two newton dent in the force plate. force plate. And so we thought, okay, this is... It's, it's going good and... We have a good catapult. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching.